Good morning everybody and welcome back again as we gather to read God's Word together. It's Thursday morning and this morning we're going to read together Psalm 5. So let's read this psalm together. Just again the little header that's there for the choir director, a psalm of David to be accompanied by the flute. O Lord, hear me as I pray, pay attention to my groaning, listen to my, <clears throat> my cry for help, my King and my God, for I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my requests to you and wait expectantly. O God, you take no pleasure in wickedness. You cannot tolerate the sins of the wicked. Therefore, the proud may not stand in your presence, for you hate all who do evil. You will destroy those who tell lies. The Lord detests murderers and deceivers. Because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. I will worship at your temple with deepest awe. Lead me in the right path, O Lord, or my enemies will conquer me. Make your way plain for me to follow. My enemies cannot speak a truthful word. Their deepest desire is to destroy others. Their talk is foul like the stench from an open grave. Their tongues are full with, filled with flattery. O God, declare them guilty. Let them be caught in their own traps. Strive them away because of their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take ref refuge in you rejoice. Let them sing joyful praises forever. Spread your protection over them, that all who love your name may be filled with joy. For you bless the godly, O Lord. You surround them with your shield of love. Amen. The end of Psalm, Psalm 5. Again, another interesting psalm, David's crying out. You'd love to know what the background is behind this particular one whenever he writes it, but we don't. We, we have no idea. We just listen to what he says. Um, interesting that he says it's to be sung, or whoever has put the header in says one to be sung. Um, but again, as David writes to God, as he puts his thoughts down his prayer, he calls God his king and his God. Um, interesting if it's written after the time that David is actually crowned king, because again, then he's helping to point the people towards the fact that he may be an earthly king, but there is someone who is the ultimate king, the heavenly king. When it comes down to verse 7, Because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. I will worship in your temple with deepest awe. If you think about the time of David's worshipping, maybe you think temple, you, you do think about the wonderful temple, but the temple isn't built in David's time. The temple is still just a tabernacle. It's a tent, but the people can't enter right into it um, because of the only the high priest who can go into the Holy of Holies. It's only that they can go into certain areas. But David says, because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. Again, pointing forward to a time whenever, because of what Christ will do, that the barrier of sin is removed and we can come into the presence of God privilege that we have today um, because of what Christ has done for us and because of the forgiveness of sins. Verse 8, leave me in the path of righteousness of the Lord, my enemies may conquer me. Make your way plain for me to follow. Something that we all struggle with, isn't it? Knowing God's will, um, knowing what God wants us to do. Let's all pr pray that God would make his way plain to us. That would be quite straightforward and simple. It would let out in a way that we can't deny what God wants us to do. And then maybe be bold enough to walk that road. Maybe be bold enough to, to follow God's will. To set our own aside and to do what he wants us to do. Let's come and pray about that this morning. Um, PCI have also asked us this morning to pray about those in churches who are looking after the finances, our treasures, um, as they keep an eye on things. So yeah, let's, let's pray for folks as they, as they do that. But let's come, let's talk to God this morning. 
Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you for what it says to us. Lord, the Psalms are so human. We see a person pouring out their their feelings, their thoughts to you. Um, we see how they how they relate to you. And Lord, we thank you for that the humanness that we see in that. Uh, it helps us to relate that bit more. Lord, as we, as we do read it, we see different parts that we can relate to really strongly. Uh, Father, that verse that talks about make your ways plain, we pray that for ourselves this morning. Lord, help us to know exactly what you want us to do. Help us to know your will from day to day. What you want us to do with our lives, what you want us to do to serve you. Lord, may it be plain and simple to us so that we cannot deny it. And then, Father, give us the boldness to follow you. Give us the, the strength of character and determination that we do what you're calling us to do. So that we can live and serve you as our King, as our Lord, as our Saviour, as our God. Father, as we miss church and as we miss the connectedness, we think about all activities, everything that still happens, um, how our buildings are still maintained and looked after, how we continue to give and contribute to your church, uh, how we continue to support mission. So Lord, we pray for our treasures as they, as they work um, to do this. And just help us, Father, to continue to support them um, in any way that we can. Lord, we recognise this is a time of hardship for many families because of lockdown, because of furloughing, because of loss of jobs. So, Lord, for any who are struggling at this time in a physical way, Lord, just bring alongside them and those who can help, means to help them, Lord, just may they may know your arms around them. But Lord, as we struggle as well spiritually, as we're not getting that sense of being able to meet together in person, just help us. May we know you close to us. May we know that um, even though we're not meeting together, we are still part of your family. And that we still have one another. Lord, just thank you. Continue with us now this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining with me this morning. Trust um, that you have a good day, that you stay safe and you know God's blessing. See you tomorrow morning. Bye.